Hi, my name is Warren and I'm here to demonstrate to you how the Precision Cup Cutter works and also to explain all of its benefits. First, let's go over some of the problems that today's superintendents are having on their putting greens. Uh, I guess the number one problem would be high and low plugs, which ultimately leads to scalp plugs. Uh, there's crooked flag sticks. Uh, you also have the, the quality of the cut. Uh, also, being able to uh, train more than three or four staff members to, uh, to cut cups. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to solve all those problems and on top of that do it in less time. So let's start by putting it together and uh, I'll just explain each part as we do that. This is an aluminum shaft. It's aluminum so the, the whole cutter is lighter. On here you have a depth gauge, you have a green line which is for your practice greens and a red line for your on course greens. Here you've got a stainless steel blade with a rubber washer. The rubber washer here is for two reasons. One to protect the top of the blade and two to reduce the noise that it would make. This is your hammer. This is really what does the work for you. And the bottom of the hammer is a six pound weight. Here's a rubber washer just to protect your hand. And this nut is to tighten on the top handle. Here's your top handle. You notice that there's foam pads on there. They're there to make the ejection more comfortable. Uh, also you have a circular level which ensures flight, uh, straight flag sticks. You also get a can of Teflon spray which is used to lubricate the shaft which ultimately makes it work easier. And you get a video, instructional video with every hole cutter. Now that we've got it all together, let's, uh, let's cut a cup. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my hooks opposite my pins. See the hooks on the blade here, pins on the hammer. Now I can start to cut the cup. First thing I want to do is just get it planted in the ground, check my level, make sure that I am straight, then just continue. You notice I'm really not exerting much force onto this. I'm just, I'm just flicking really the, the hammer down onto the top of the blade. I've just hit the green line. If I was on a practice green, I just want to stop here. I'm going to keep going down to the red line. There, I've just hit the red line. I want to stop there. I want to make sure, you know, checking your level along the way. Um, I happen to be dead on here. So, next thing we want to do is we want to break that plug and pull it out. We do that by simply turning the pins clockwise into the hooks. What that does is it breaks the plug at the bottom. Simply pull it out. You can see I got a, a flush plug in the end of that blade. Now between the depth gauge and how how this pulls the plug out, you get the exact same amount of sand every time, as well as you now have a perfectly cut cup for the right depth and a perfect four and quarter inches. Now for ejection, you simply put the blade back in the hole. You engage your pins into the hooks on the blade. You want to pull that blade up. You want to pull it up a few inches at a time. And what that's going to do, that's going to now leave you a gap 
that the blade took up between the plug and the inside of the hole. Now this next feature is really a unique feature among any hole cutters. What I'm doing is I'm just tamping the top of that plug with this tamper. And it's now expanding that plug back into the hole. So I'm actually fitting the plug into the hole. Again, I go up about three more inches, tap it slightly, and then just pull it up. Now with the tamper, I can tap those seams and I've got a perfectly flush plug. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to operate this tool. And by being able to always take one cut instead of two cuts, being able to take the same size plug every time, which is going to drastically reduce your high and low plugs, uh, being able to check if your flag stick's going to be straight just by looking at the level, um, you really reduce the amount of time it takes to cut cups. Typically, you should take half an hour off of uh, 18 holes. So ultimately, that saves you money. It should take maybe three or four months to, uh, to pay for your cup cutter. And uh, really, that's how easy it is to use. And if you have any further questions, just contact your local rep.